see? Why on, can you? I can't count it down when you're doing it. It made me have to fucking I rush. My clunky. I get it right every time. Son of a bitch. Hi, <laughs> right, Jacob, Dan. by the way. We're Yo! here. Why is Yo, Dan on the on? Oh, Dan. Well, that's because Dan joined late. One second, Dan. Oh, don't, don't, don't start. Look at look at the look at look at look at little little droidy voice. Look at B, look at B two emo. Okay, Jacob, what, what, for the McClunky <laughs> thing, would it be better if we go one two three McClunky or it'd be one two McClunky? One two three. What, what you know what's sense? funny about this is that I think we've started so many of our streams with this exact discussion, like at the very <laughs> yeah. beginning. It's like yeah, how are we doing this? Because it's a hot topic. If we just one, two, three. McClunky. It always yeah, we always do last episode, episode the I did time. just open us up and not even tell everyone that we'd started <laughs> streaming, and it was like, yeah, and now McClunky, bitches. Like, say it when you want. You do your <laughs> That's own the best thing. way to do it. One, two, three. McClunky. Is that what you're saying? You also started the stream a second late, so I couldn't hear McClunky. That Kaz jumped the gun on me. I couldn't fucking keep up. I had to go to the 50 <laughs> tabs, dude. Hey, look at that little well, shithead rolling in and out. Look at that guy. Yeah, yeah. It's B2 emo. He's got a name. Right. Yeah, it was B2 yeah. Emo. I swear to God, I'm not even making that up. I've just been calling him Little Shithead. Little Shithead. I only call him B. Two favorite. Do they call him B? I wasn't characters. catching on, honestly. Yeah. Uh, one of my favorite. They should well, have called sorry, him Emo. Guys, actually. Emo. Emo, how you doing? It'd be like, oh, shit. He's, he's depressed, so it would be kind of funny. Like, <laughs> we're really into that. But yeah, hey, he's everybody. Welcome robot. to the stream. One, two, three, McClunky. I'm okay, bad. so Jacob's on your Thank guys' you. team. There you guys go. It's me and Richard the, versus the world. It's literally four against two, right? Yeah. I'll fight you all. I don't care. <laughs> Bring it, bitch. We know you will. We are here to discuss the first four episodes of the newest Star Wars show, Andor. I am joined by my friends AJ, Kaz, Brutal Richard, and finally Whoa, back. whoa, 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 whoa. Let me, let me do Did Dan you just call first. me a friend? Finally back <laughs> after a long hiatus is Dan. God damn I'm you back guys. from traveling. I'm back from traveling, everybody. Thanks for having me back. How was, you, how was your holiday, my lad? Uh, too short. <laughs> I feel too like... Short. I... That's interesting. I had the uh, complete opposite. Yeah, okay, like, give we... your opinion, <laughs> Jacob. Oh. <laughs> just really cuts off Hold on, we are talking. <laughs> hey, continue, Kaz. Continue, Jacob. On to give <laughs> no, us no, 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 that's fine. You type out your opinion. Is that oh. what does... What, what the fuck are you saying? Tom, wow, no. You're not allowed to give your opinion anymore, Jacob. Jacob, I thought you wanted to be on this show, man. Not with that attitude. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have him on your show. He'll like tell you he's got ligma two seconds before you start. And he's, got back. <laughs> he's got back right, ligma. What, what so it's, condition. it's a very bad condition. I uh, got a bad condition of both. Uh... Yeah, no, yeah. Front ligma is also is worse, I think, personally. Uh, having experienced it, but like it's always one. Um, but you yeah, know, I was saying it was kind of was too like it was just the right length for me. Like I, it was like I was just about to get homesick, so it was it was it was, it was the right time. Uh, I, I I was homesick. Uh, like Australia dragged um like mm. big time in the last week after I left my family. Um, and then I come home on my twenty first. Uh, I was jet lagged to all hell. I, I I just died. I think I passed out about nine o'clock at night. After building a desk and stuff, uh, yeah, it was just a write-off, and then went to Barcelona, and that was uh, <laughs> that was me home. So, yeah, I'm not traveling now till December, thankfully. So, I can actually enjoy some time back with you boys, uh, doing what we enjoy, talking about well, shows that we don't really like a whole lot, and yelling oh, at each other. I like you know it. it. You know I it. like it. You know it. I like the show. All right, we'll go. Th we'll go through. We'll go through. Uh, AJ, yeah, you like the show. What, would, yeah. what, are you, what is your general consensus so far with these four episodes? Uh, so far, like, the first two episodes were, yeah, like, slow. It felt like they just blended together. But, like, the third and fourth episode definitely picked up for me. I, uh, I enjoyed them a lot. Yeah. Uh, who's, but, who's, uh, yeah. What's your favorite, like, plot line right now? Like, who, what, favorite plot line? Like, uh, favorite, I'm really... Like, that we go to? I'm intrigued about the, uh, about, like, the heist they're planning. Okay. So that, that I'll say that one. All right, Kaz, what are you feeling? How's your vibe with the show so far? I strongly dislike it. I have no actual reason why I can explain that. I just do. But I like the last episode. That was the only redeeming episode. But even then, that's my thoughts. And, and Kaz is also coming into this. Uh, I only I learned this like halfway through, like the second episode or some shit. First, he hasn't seen you. he hasn't seen Rogue One or anything like that, so he doesn't even know who this character <laughs> oh, is. Oh. So. Oh, so that's kind of Jesus. interesting, though, to me, where it's like, we're going to see an outside opinion of... So like, this is just a random character that they decided to make a show for, pretty much. What would they have to do to make it better for you? I don't know. 
that's the thing because I like I, I I think it's not as charming as I'd like it to be, and it's not. It's a bit too gritty. If is yeah. what I would describe. It. Well, that, that's the good thing. That's what we want. No, no, no. That's what I want from Star Wars. Exactly. I, I that exactly is purely opinion. I just don't care for like that kind of media. It's one of the reasons Batman is like mo- the most annoying like superhero to me, uh, in general. The, that um, that question goes up to everyone too. What? Uh, what what, would, what would like you do? What what would make it better for you? I would say well, like, I think you focus on certain characters more. Like I think the Imperial side of things, and like like even like the like the like the under like those two stupid ones and Tim. If you focus more on, no, I'm joking. <laughs> if it if it focuses enough on Tim. Well, because um, I, I would agree with that in a way where the focus being more like fucking hell. Like I don't care about Andor's story at all, admittedly, in the show so far. Like I every time it cuts away to a different thing, I am ecstatic because it feels like I'm like actually in like for for the ISB stuff. That shit, I want that to be the show. Like, if the show was just the security b- bureau, like going around, like make a fucking itself. dumb comedy about those that that stuff, I guess. But like, a comedy? I don't, I don't. At the, like, at yeah, the, at the ISB. The ISB. What's the ISB again? That's the that's the security bureau. Hold up. Yeah, where like those two idiots are from? I thought I asked no, no, no. That's like that was lady, orders. like the the officers. The oh, well, was... you're talking about like the pre-moxa, like like the corporate security. Uh, yeah, thing. that's what you're talking about. No, I mean like that stuff is okay. I like that plot line too a little bit because it shows the interest of the world that we're in, like how how the empire hasn't fully taken over in every facet, and there's still like these security things. But when we got to the fourth episode with the uh, with the security bureau chick and like the guy from Kyburn from Game of Thrones, that stuff elevated the show to me so much. And then Mon Mothma and all that as well, but currently what I, I did would like from the history. Show... Yeah. No, I was gonna say I liked like the show, like the nod with like the history stuff that was shown, like just a little the set. I re- that was one thing I really liked. I liked a lot of like the music and the set design from this. And although I think the first initial areas are a bit too un Star Wars to me. Um, but everything else was very like well done yeah, on that on the production side of things. Yeah, like, a Star Wars show is never going to look... I mean, we say that, but then there's some shots that have looked pretty bad. But it's never going to be, like, abysmally bad looking. Like, it's going to just work, always. And it should, because it's goddamn got, like, the budget of Disney behind its ass. So, I mean, like, come on. But uh, what what I would want from the show already, like, I going into it, I was already skeptical with the 12-episode runtime. And I saw that and was like, okay, like, with eight episodes, people were already complaining with Mando for being, like, filler a lot of the time, which I I didn't see with Mando. I I found every episode to be riveting, but I can definitely see the filler though. I know I, in I the, first, see that. the middle three episodes. I wouldn't even call that filler though, because it still is adding like character stuff. Like it is a big character arc for him in the in the middle three episodes. So like when when this ep- show comes out and it's twelve episodes, and then those first three episodes that came out all in one day were like slow and. It just felt like we weren't really going anywhere ever, and uh, it, it was just weird to me in a sense of how they plan to release this show, where if this had been a week-to-week thing instead of just dropping three episodes once, how riveting would that have been for us? You know what I mean? Ah, uh, yes. No, I, no, think, I, I think remember. that's why they did the first... Well, but I get that, I get that. first episodes but... and then just... That, no, I think it's gonna pick up now. Well, I get, I get that. That's why they did that. that was... but you shouldn't have to do that in a sense, right? A show shouldn't be like, oh, we have to drop these first three episodes at once because they, yeah, they that suck. Was the like that's question what it feels Sam like. had. Yeah, Sam had uh, said, and I like, I was like, yeah, like why, like this, I if this was week to week, I, I, I like, I like my first, like yes, what did I think of it? And my answer was shit because I just I did not like how. Like it just, it just like it, like um, I look, like, I didn't feel like anything was really set up enough for me to want to get invested. Yeah, and I just so I I think that's it. really poor structure of the show in in the in the whole scheme of things, where it's like we could have probably gone through the first two episodes in one episode. They could have probably brought that down pretty goddamn hard. So that that that's for me a big thing. The pacing of the show is all over the place. So, like in in the fourth hmm. episode, right? We're I get uh, like you like the the plot line with the the people who are trying to like take over the armory and stuff like that. Like I was I'm into that a little bit too. Like it's like okay, that's gonna be a cool story, but the the getting to that point even was like holy shit. I figured the episode was gonna actually still have the heist in it at the end. So when we were at the campfire and suddenly we cut to black, I was just like, 
oh, that's it? And that's what I felt every week. Like, we were saying that with House of the Dragon. Uh, <laughs> I think we were saying that, Richard, where we come out of every episode saying, that was it? I can't wait for next week. Oh, man. But this show, this I is literally the have the opposite. the opposite end of the spectrum. Where I'm like, that was it? All right. All right, then, Richard, let's get your opinion on it. I think this is the best Star Wars ever made. <laughs> Explain. Go on. <laughs> okay, no, 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 first things first. No, 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 just no, no, to kind on, of talk on. about like. Just drop yes. a mic. End it there. End it there. Just drop yeah, a I'm mic. Yeah. Walk away. Adios, I'm done. nerds. I'm done. Best Star Wars ever made. <laughs> Deuces. <laughs> no, realistically, I think that this is the best Star Wars ever made since Mando season one. I think it's considerably better than Mando season two, and I think it's by a. Uh, by and large, better than anything Book of Boba. Um, it is, it's slice of life Star Wars, which is something that I have always wanted. Mm-hmm. I don't need action packed stuff. I get that enough with the uh, regular Star Wars that comes out every three days. So I'm cool with just like slow, uh, uh, slow burning kind of British crime drama version of Star Wars. This is so cool to me, and I'm really enjoying it. That actually reminds you of a joke because you mentioned slice of life, slice of life. Like, I didn't, I didn't get that from it because like slice of life is my favorite, like one of my favorite genres. Mm-hmm. But maybe I'm just used to very like light hearted slice of life. And then we were just making the joke. What if like it was me? I it was slice of life's me in Star Wars, but it's just me at the computer for eight hours. <laughs> yeah, because <like, laughs> <laughs> we were like Tazian. <laughs> A Star what, Wars what I story. like to see, I, I actually think that this this current episode is my least favorite episode because they did the thing that Disney does and they tied it all into everything else, and I fucking hate that. But how did I it hate it? Tie into what? what the it, moment what we do? get Mon Mon Mothma, oh, no. and we get we get name drops. I'm like, fuck, god damn it! Uh, really yeah, that's so thing. interesting, Richard, because like going into the show, like I knew that her shit was probably going to be the thing I was actually here for. Like, it seems to me that like this show is gonna struggle for like a i mean people i mean because there's obviously such a divide between people like you and me right where it's like i'm here for this aspect and other people are here for this like cassian stuff is just so nothing to me i love that his stuff is more character driven (laughs) where like it's supposed to express that he's like a fucking flawed guy he's a a, kind of a shitty character he's just a dude (laughs) <laughs> and that already kind of like goes into it a little bit where it's like Kaz doesn't have the perspective of Rogue One, but we all do. So we all kind of know where he's going. And it already is like, so he, I thought he was going to be a better character at the beginning of this and we'd see his fall, but he's already kind of shitty. Well, yeah, that, he's always been shitty. It's, it's his thing. I, yeah, I love just, that about him. I, I love would... that he's not like this, this super heroic figure. We know how he goes out. So no, no matter what, he's never going to turn into like the next Luke Skywalker. He's just kind of a shitty dude. He's always destined to just blow up on a planet. See, but I feel like that's just I, a very boring arc because we're currently, then we're not going to see him do anything. We're not going to see him that's, change that's, or develop at all. Exactly why I'm fine with it because Star there's so much Star Wars to consume that I don't need all of it to be the same. So for me, this is like, yeah. it's refreshing for it to be much more slow paced and much more focused on a guy who's not perfect, who's not tied into the greater story. And like, mean, he the, is tied the biggest the greater I, story. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> the, the biggest eye roll to me is, is the attempt at tying it all in with Mon Mothma and all of that shit, because I don't want that. I, I get that everywhere. I want nothing more than just to see more of the Star Wars universe, more world building, more new characters, please and not constant retellings of the same old characters over and over and over again. But there I just don't, I, there are certain characters that you can still go back to and are worthy to like explore. Like I think Mon Mothma in this era like in this political ter- like this terrible time when the empire is like still sort of in its like the, even, early even stages. Yeah, it's like it's in early stages where it's not as forceful apparently. I like to see how she is going to take that and how she deals with it in the Imperial Senate. To me, this is kind of a Game of Thrones in Star Wars, where we can see, like, the ISB and the all the, the shit that they're doing. It's just that when it cuts back to our main character, then I'm like, well, this show is... Like, I don't know. Like, it's gonna be half of things I'm just not here for. That's the stuff mm. that I, I am here for, though. For me, whenever I... When, when I see shit like Mon Mothma, I'm like, fuck, man. They're gonna do this thing where they focus on the the undertold part of Star Wars. That part of Star Wars is undertold because it doesn't need to be told. We get it. We get that the uh, uh, the the um, the Rebel Alliance is formed and that they do their thing. I I don't need 
to see how that develops. I'm perfectly cool just seeing Cassie and Andor digging through trash for an hour a day. That's fine with me. See, that just sounds so boring. I don't know you saying I mean, that. I'm like, that just sounds like not a good show. Like, like I, mean, I, I, I like it because... I share from both points of view here. Because I agree with both of you. So I personally had no expectation or interest in Andor when it first came out. Uh, when it was announced and everything, I was like, delightful. Just what I want to fucking see. And then when I started watching it, I was like, actually, I'm... I'm kind of becoming more invested in him as much as I get what you're saying Sam with the whole it's not necessarily that riveting or interesting but it kind of paints a realistic picture of this is how it is this is how shitty it is to be in this era this is how shit has to be done to right. make a difference and it's it's building it from the, the foundation up to the flawed character we get in Rogue One so they have, they do have to put the element of like the filler and the building blocks. But from that point onwards, then you're going to get your, you know, your important names come in, like your Mon Mothma, for example, which obviously I know Richard isn't exactly the biggest sort of like fan of. But that that's where I can understand that they will link it. But they do I, have to build it from scratch. I, I get that they have to build, but also like we, if we look at it, like okay, think of it like this: when Bad Batch came out and we had that dope ass hour and a half premiere or whatever. That was unexpected and awesome for something at that scale. So when this comes mm. out and there's like three episodes that are just treading water, I, w I really felt like that could have been a at least like an episode they tried to smush together so that at the f end of the first episode already, Andor is off the planet or some shit like that. Cause... Y yes and no, because you squeeze all that into one episode, I can guarantee you 95% of the people that watched it would go, no, I'm good. Because it would just be rushed. They I, know, like, I, I felt like the I, I disagree. I just I love that it was dragged out. I thought it was amazing. I got some serious Star Wars wor uh, world building and got to see things that I've never seen in Star Wars before. But like what though? Like I seeing think, a cityscape, no. a proper cityscape. We've what do you mean? We've seen that in like so many Star Wars. No, movies. no, no, no. Not like Coruscant. Like seeing like a, an, an actual like real life looking non, yeah. city. Like, it's not like a planet covered from the entire surface in, in city. We got to see what looks like a city on the outside within, you know, the outer areas of the city getting lesser and lesser. We got to see mm. more of just, like, what it looks like to be boots on ground in Star Wars and not be carrying a lightsaber. Well, yeah, I'm confused that, what you're kind of like. saying, though, with that. Because, like, we saw, like, if, if what you're implying is that we saw the city that he was living in in Ferrix, and then the other one with the, the corporate people, like, those two different planets. Like and I, I loved both of them. That's that's what I'm saying, though. Is like it's so refreshing to me to see like the the planet that he's working on and see like there's buildings made of bricks. They just have brick. Buildings. Oh yeah, we have just some guy hitting a fucking drum on on a tower. Right. To, I, like, I, us up I in the morning. That that's cool. Yeah, like I, just... I'm cool with that element of it, but I I don't understand. I don't see that as like a huge drawing in factor. Like the, the no, guy with the hammer thing. That's cool beans. But like the fact that the buildings are. Brick? I don't know, Richard. That just doesn't. That's, no, that's why. Uh, well, I look. Well, I, no, yeah. Like I think I can see. Like we're. I think it's like it's one of those things. Like where like you are so used to. Like you remember like when we talk about how like all these planets like they always just go to Tatooine. Yeah. yeah. And like just the, the very typical planets. This is a very different planet. It's like what we're used to looking at in Star Wars. Uh, and so it, okay. that, no, but do you know what I mean? Like so it's like you, really. you. They've given you no, the junk planet on a. Desert rim. No. Like, what do you mean? Like, well, no, but you, you remember, but like, it doesn't look like Tatooine in the sense, like, like Tatooine has a very like specific Jakku. aesthetic. Sure, yeah. Like it's like Dantooine, you know, it's its own. It it's, it's, it's got its own. own aesthetic. Like desert planets, all are going to be slightly different. Yeah. Well, we even like, get yeah. like peeks into like their their culture on this planet, which is the stuff that I love to see. Like, we're getting to see things that really don't have much purpose other than to just expand on the universe, and that's the stuff that I love because Star Wars is just so filled to the brim with just grandiose bullshit that I'm just sick of it. I don't I, need to hear any more epic tales. I just want to watch something a little bit slower and a little bit more grounded. And but I think that Star Wars always still does that and maintains that. Like in Mando season two, even something that we don't really like care for. Like they still world build and express like how like there's different these different planets like the Ahsoka episodes that's coming to mind right away. But like there was that planet with like the city doing the refinery shit and that was like setting up a the world there like yeah and well, those are my favorite parts of like 
season two of, of Mando and season one of Mando is when they're doing more of the world building stuff. But uh, yeah, at the end I, of the day, those are still stories that are tied into the whole Jedi thing and the Skywalker mm-hmm. legacy. And that's what I want to get as far away I'm, from I'm, as possible. I'm saying that that's cool stuff. I'm just saying that I don't know if I would give and or credit on that front more than any other project that we've seen so far. Because it just feels like the same to me, but lesser. Like it's, I get what you're saying that it's it's more slow and can and thought out than Boba Fett was for sure because that was a show that was made for obvious fan baiting reasons. We all know that, but this this show but doesn't this... have to deal with that in that capacity because I don't think oh, Andor Lucy, has so the good. same. Fan I base. went back for seconds. I got a uh, I got hard like Blade Runner vibes from the first episode yeah, of this show. Yeah, well, we were. Do. Oh yes. my god. Okay, so that we were saying, we were saying that, and that's yeah. a problem that I kind of have is that Star Wars like what is is it just when it doesn't feel like Star Wars, I'm so fucking out of it, and I feel like they've been doing that so much lately, where there's just a different Blade Runner planet every other show. Well, I don't know, man. Because that, that's a yeah, like it brings a raw. Like- entity to star wars that it's lacking it's lacking something that isn't the same like that it, it first was planet we see where it's the strobe lights as he's walking in the rain it's like it was reminiscent and nostalgic of camino but it was its own planet it was unique it was different it gives a breath of fresh air to the universe yeah, it was a back alley on earth is what it looked like well, he was like in this. He was in this like cyberpunk planet, but it still definitely felt like Star Wars to me. Yeah. I, like it, it reminded me so much of the biker gang in Book of Boba Fett, and I know that we said like that. Oh people God. Feel like that, that's clothes. where it fucking fits. That's where the biker gangs belong. <laughs> I yeah, but I just even when they show up, people like I. In hindsight, on that show, like, I, did like like that a, I did not like that gang. I did not like that gang at all. If you see like a Tuscan Raider uh, Raider group on on this planet, you'd be like, "What the fuck is this?" But Obviously, they don't belong there. Like, if the biker gang was on here, it makes more sense. I don't know we, where, where you're getting at with that. Also, then. that is a fan excuse. We made that excuse. They never imply that in the show. We are suggesting that that's the case. So that is, again, us coming in and being like, oh, that's that's why that is. That's why that is. That, they didn't think that at all. They, no, they what never do you mean? What are you that. talking about right now? With the, <laughs> the, with the gang and I book of Boba Fett, they never imply that. Fellas. I know they don't apply it. That's the that's what our our implication. They're that's from that what planet. I'm saying is like that. They well, hold on, are... hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Sam. <laughs> we're, we're saying that they look dumb because they're not supposed. They're not from this planet. That's why we hate them. But if that's were, but if, AJ, if that, AJ, that has never been implied was... that they are not from that planet. I know. Jen, I'm not Jen, saying they're not from the planet. On. I'm saying they don't it's look like they belong on the planet. Then that's bad design. <laughs> like, what are you that's what, Oh my god, that's what I'm saying, Sam. <laughs> if you're agreeing that it's bad design, then why is this not bad design? Like, I don't understand boys, what you're boys, saying. Boys, boys. Because I'm saying this is what it's Fitzy supposed to be. This is what it's supposed to look like. If we saw that biker gang there, we'd say that's great design. If we saw Tuscan Raiders there, that's fucking bad design. I don't know what you're getting at here, Sam. I'm getting at that the biker design is bad in the first place. Like, what are you talking yeah. about? Well, no, no that, if, they, if, they, if they were found in the city, we, we would say about? that looks great. From, from Book of Boba Fett. The, the moped There's gang. two different... Okay, so the moped gang. Okay, they're not bikers, first of all. We had swoop yeah, gang riders. Thank you. True, true. Um... Second of all, uh, my problem with them is not that they don't look like they're from the planet. It's that it doesn't matter if you're uh, from the desert or you're just in the desert. You have to look like you're in the desert. Yeah, and they That's they did I'm not. Like, like I'm look... saying, if if they were on that that cyberpunk uh, like Blade Runner planet, they'd fit they in would have been, perfectly. Yeah. They would have been perfect there, and that's my. Oh, that's already what I'm saying. Is that planet to me just doesn't fit in Star Wars? Like that. What is... are you talking? Like it does fit in Star Wars though. We've seen planets yeah, that before. I... Where do you I think, think the nation thing? was conceived from, my man. <laughs> That's like the most Star Wars planets. I totally disagree. Like, I when I think of Star Wars planets, I think of like the the lived in planets. Like that one just literally you looks like that one is very lived in. Naboo, that looks very good. You know, Camino, the, the recycled planets essentially is where you're getting at. It, to we be get fair, a li- too, we get a this is also a space. This is also all... space where like there's tons of planets that so you could get anything. I know, but when like I mentioned you... Blade Runner, I wasn't referring specifically to visually, though I did get there is a visual similarity. I meant the pacing and the storytelling is very much like Blade Runner. Yeah, it's very much a slow you, burn. Yeah, 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 I get that. It's a slow burn. Yeah, I'll say you There's can see a lot of the influence in in that. Then just that's, all the way that's what I, I want. Yeah, I, I'm, I think exactly. that this is going to end up with uh, probably some bombastic shit towards the end. But I, I, I like seeing it kind of take its time. It's it reminds me of my favorite aspects of the Mandalorian season one, 
where it was just the first half of the show is just kind of Mando's adventures. And this kind of, I, I get that same feeling from it where it doesn't necessarily need to be connected to the major story. I'm just kind of seeing uh, Cassian do his thing. And that's probably my favorite aspect of it. Yeah, I think it's just a, a more of a, like a very character centric sort of story instead of being fucking, oh, we have to stop this new planet killer space station because right. this is the fourth one to happen so far. But I don't, right. I don't think I, that, I that was that ever going to were... be like slated to happen in a show like this. I, I obviously not in the in Andor, but like you, you know what I'm saying? Like there the, the has much le- lower uh, uh, like circumstances and uh, much lower right. The uh, problems feel feel more more grounded, but at the same time, that makes it so that the death of an individual seems significantly more important. Exactly. Yeah. It's well, much more character focused. The director uh, of this has had major involvement in like political uh like based films and his the last major film to do with like geopolitics and stuff won him a fuck ton of awards and he wrote and directed that well because i don't deny that like when we get to the political stuff in the show like when we get to like the the bureau shit and the 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 stuff i was hooked i was immediately like okay here we go here we go that's all that's all i'm saying on that front like what i think well what i'd like to say regarding like the whole like blade runner and like the um, direction choice about a lot of things i think like yeah like going back like it's got a lot of blade runner influence i feel like for like who enjoys it it like like with you and aj like you you two uh, uh richard you, you and aj you both very much enjoy this and that's the best bit. While like I like I don't care for that kind like or I didn't like that's not like what like I come to Star Wars for. So I didn't care for it. But then when like I'm like I, I am I'm, I am interested in like the politics of things. So like that was why me and Sam were like, more intrigued by that bit. A lot but of Star Wars like, feels like different... Star Wars. And then recent Star Wars feels like we're trying to reference other things. And I'm like, yeah, I get that, but Star Wars was I like think... at its peak when back in the day, it just had no other comparison. It was like that is the fuck you. F- you feel like you're in Star Wars watching those movies. I feel like that could just come from the fact that we live in a time where like we've there's a lot of films and a lot of stuff that's out. So we, we are going. But like to yeah, like, like, if you watch Blade Runner and you watch Star Wars, those are very different films. We we've seen a lot of. You can definitely see the inspiration. F- from Star Wars in Blader, but we, we've seen, like, there's so much Star Wars now where we've seen things where, it's like, that's definitely not Star Wars. That's, like, that feels totally different. And then there's things that feel very much closer to Star Wars. This is the closer end, where this feels more grounded. Feel Like, it feels like you're in the world. We don't need fucking Jedi and Stormtroopers stomping everywhere to make right. it a Jedi, or to make it a Star mm. Wars show. I, think well, I completely agree with that. I don't, I don't need that been. aspect of it. Like I'm not, I'm not asking for there to be a Jedi running around the show and kicking ass. I think that would ruin the show. If anything, I think that would be yeah, stupid. Yeah, uh, exactly. I'm just, I'm just saying. Like, it still, to me, feels very much like a Star Wars show without, you know, explicitly stating it. Well, actually, yeah. in, I've seen people saying this on articles because the writing, they, uh, there's certain things that they've said that are very un-Star Warsy, and the director actually said that he made a choice to instead of using like words from the star wars language to make it more real so that people would be able to relate to it more i don't know if that's necessary because like this is supposed to feel alien it's supposed to not feel like our world right so when that kind of i agree with you on that when that kind of i I don't i don't like it when they do that did you hear the shit by the way richard did you hear that when they dropped that the what uh, they, 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 dr- they drop a shit bomb in the third episode. Did they really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. When yeah, when the won. guy explodes going into the tower, like in, on the ship, he goes like the 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 fat guard goes like shit. Oh wow! But, like, I didn't even notice that. That, that still fits because like I'm sure that's a fucking swear word. Like I mean, but like I don't know. Like well, they like, said bastard in Star Wars on three separate occasions. When did they say so, bastard? Hit me. Uh, uh the Last Jedi. Uh, Finn says you uh, bastard to uh, the, to Benicio del Toro's character. Really? Um, wow! I did not catch yes. that. Uh, they say bastard. Uh, what's her face? Uh, Cassian's like adoptive mother says bastard when they're raiding her home. Okay, so this is um, maybe this is just this show going hard with the. <laughs> Ransom yeah, so, Malk called so, Ma- uh, Dinjar. In all fairness, 
This isn't the first time it's happened. Yeah, I looked up. I looked up like uh, Star Wars phrases and slang, and like, bastard is one of them. Yeah, like yeah. I, I don't know. You could subtly replace that kind of thing for dang Farrakh or like Carabas or some shit like that, and I'd be like, eh. Like, let's go. Dank Farrakh well, is there, one of them as there well. Is, <laughs> like, there is elements of that. But... Because, like, in the in this universe, uh, in this world, there there is so many planets out there that, like, sure, you're gonna have, like, many different, like, slang words. And, like, so, saying, some yeah. of them will be, like, bastard and shit. Who cares? <laughs> I guess, yeah. But I don't know. That, that sort of, in a far away, reminds me of that argument that I always have with my parents where they're like, they're like, yeah, humans have evolved on other planets in the galaxy. And I'm like, well, that, no. <laughs> like, just because just it on. happened here doesn't you, mean... You have that argument with your parents? I... Your parents sound cool. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, no. oh, oh ne never mind. Yeah, I was just kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, your parents suck, dude. Routine. No. Oh. That, is a, that is an argument that gets rather heated in this house. So <laughs> Okay. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I ever argued with my parents about life on other planets. It was more like, are you going to go to church today? That was it. Sometimes I realize like, ah. that. Well, the, the church for him is like ancient aliens. So, like, let's let's consider that. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, anyway. I, I didn't notice that they they dropped the the shit bomb. Um, but I, I do get. I I am admittedly concerned, and I always get concerned when TV shows do this. When the creator or director or writers or someone does an interview where they're like, "I just want the show to be a reflection of the reality that we live in," because I fucking hate that, and it takes me right <laughs> out. Yeah, well, especially yeah, for Star Wars. Like, I get that it should like reflect certain. Like, like I don't like. Uh, I like no. It's not. I think like reflecting the human. Just, just, just reflecting life is different. But like when yeah. you like you're trying like just oh the it's we're trying to be realistic with them. Like, bro, bro, <laughs> you're in space. Bro. You're in a galaxy <laughs> far, far away. A long, you're long space, time ago. You're with space wizards. Guns make pew-pew noises. I don't think you, you need to worry about being real. Right the now. religions in this galaxy are cultish, not actual religions. You know? Mm. There is no gods and deities here. It is literally... Well, I mean, the kind of... Uh, yeah, no, I, I, will, I will argue. Well, there is. But Actually, there is a reference I mean. in, in the fourth episode to, uh, to the gods, in a sense, with the, the father, the son, and the, the sister, if anyone caught that one. Mm. I, I saw that there was the Star Killer Sith Stalker armor. Yeah, yeah, it was in that same room. They have a, a tablet that, that the tablet that Mon Mothma gets is is the in Rebels. There was the fuck. What did you call that? Like the mural, I guess, of the father, the son, and the daughter, mm -hmm. and the hands that are on the thing are those hands. Like so, it they're just midichlorians. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's there's no. Uh, you shouldn't really like talk about religion like that. Uh, this is just science. That's the different aspe aspects of the Force. Like, they should go into that at one point. <laughs> there are people that are like, I'm a science Force believer. And it's like, I'm a, I'm a more f mystical Force believer. I'm a, I think that one of the things that I, I love the most about this show is, uh, as, as most of you guys know, I'm, I make Star Wars costumes in my free time. Yeah. What? Um, and <laughs> seeing, I'm, uh, I, I do the, the Mandalorian Mercs costume club thing. So... I'm constantly looking at like new armor designs, new patterns for clothing and just background stuff. And everything in this show, this show is just filled to the brim with just swarzy set designs that I love to look at. Just seeing like Cassie and like opening up a, a chest m for me, my eyes are drawn to like, okay, what is this chest? Cause the uh, swarzy designs, quote unquote, are basically just taking existing uh, appliances and or trash from the seventies and repurposing them to look goofy and star Warsy. And I, I love that stuff, and this show's full of it. Well, uh, they, they they did that for the um for the original uh, lightsaber that Luke Skywalker had, or Anakin's saber. It was a Graflex uh, camera pole that they used. And exactly. Stuck some sequins on it, and it was like, boom, you're a lightsaber. It's like that's fucking cool. Yeah, like the, the little it's... box that they carry the, their credits in is just like a '70s ice cream maker flipped upside down. Yeah, ice, yeah. twist the handle, opens it up, and shit. Like that was awesome. And then we got our like, most I iconic love. Star Wars character in Empire Strikes Back out of that. Yeah, Will Row Hood. Running around with the ice cream maker. They, they put in a. I think in a certain point of view for Empire, like he has pretty much a Pulp Fiction story where, like, in that fucking thing is like a gold. <laughs> Thing, like fucking Marcellus Wallace's soul or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I do love that uh, this show and Mando both do this where they are making us afraid of TIE fighters and I'm so happy to see that. Yeah. Yeah, because I think that's the one thing that 
uh, the at least the most recent trilogy has kind of like diminished is the TIE fighter is actually probably the most versatile fighter around. It's fucking rapid. It's right. You know, it's got twin engines that the screech is instantly recognizable. The ion cannons will destroy your, you know, your ship. And it has the capability to go for days upon days. It's a fear. It should be a feared machine, but the media is, it's portrayed it as, it's, uh, it's easily destroyable. When right. in reality, it's, it is a, it is a machine that is a killing machine. That is at the same time very easily destroyable, though. But I was saying, wasn't well, yeah, it it's like well, it's as destroyable as it can literally any other ship in, in well, Star no, Wars? Well, I'm pretty sure that it is it is notably like cheaper well, to make. It's like more yeah. like it's, frail and shit. So it's quicker to make and more frail because they don't have uh, 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 shield generators. Yeah, well, that's already in a sense like a big thing that they like don't give a shit about it. They're like, well, you're gonna die in this thing probably, so we well, can make well, more. Like, with, not to... with a skilled pilot, you don't need the shield generators because you could outman people you yeah okay yeah. that's like the empire's like happy way of saying it but i'm pretty sure the empire is definitely more of like the yeah yeah like, like, yeah, like give a shit like about you. Go, like, go out and but, die for us probably but i will say at the same time like like yeah like so like we know that it is cheap and easy and it's did not like the empire don't really give a shit about like the pilots that drive it but like in like to the people that like see these things the terrifying like we literally watched we it, like, it, bad batch them be like we're gonna cancel the entire clone program even though it's a good idea we're gonna cancel that because it's costing us more money, and we're gonna have shitty troops that <laughs> that are can't hit shit apparently later on. Can't hit shit, and even wearing armor get knocked down when blast. Yeah, you can, you can hit. Them so in the that's face. that thing. That's intentional. If if you actually go through uh, stormtrooper armor design, yeah. I have a whole freaking book on it. Uh, it displaces the blast and forces them to be knocked down into a concussive state rather than actually piercing their armor. Huh? Huh? I didn't know that actually, yep. but I because I just figured they all died most of the time. Well, they still die a lot, <laughs> but, <laughs> but it, it just forces the blast to kind of go like power through their armor rather than like shooting through it. That's why you rarely ever see anyone like get a hole blasted through them. Which is all that's also just, you know, uh, some director was like, ah, f we, we don't have the budget. to." Put I was going to say, <laughs> I was going to say that, like, I just don't know if they had like the effects work to be like, hey, quickly jump cut to like his his armor being fucked up. Yeah, I mean, another like thing, too, kid, it was is... a kid thing, right? Like, maybe they didn't want to go so hard sure. like, the uh, violence, so... The s stormtroopers themselves are also supposed to be, like, really highly trained military men. They're not supposed to yep. be, like, jobbers that can't shoot anything. That's just bad storytelling on Star Wars' part. I think, well, that that's just, like, a kind of fandom thing, isn't it? Like, haven't we, in ourselves, made that the situation? Ka yes and no. I mean, like we in, all in all the films, the stormtroopers just... suck. But yeah. the the reality, if you're like in the books and all the the graphic novels, the stormtroopers are badasses. Yeah, they they are way better when they can't be shown on screen to be as incompetent as they possibly could be. Like, right, like the uh, you the can imply such on... a cool more imagery in like a book with like what you can like put into words, but then if you're actually doing it on the screen, it's like oh, that's what it actually is, and it might not actually come out that well. Right, in in Return of the Jedi, all the uh, all of the stormtroopers that are dealing with the uh, the Ewoks. There's even a line in that movie where they describe those as like the Emperor's finest. Like, yeah, those are the best stormtroopers. <laughs> yeah, and they get taken out by sticks and Ooh. stones. Yeah, I also that's think that that like back in the day was a good message because of the whole like judge me by my size, do you? I think that that was a part of that movie. Where I think like, it was more of a don't fuck with teddy bear kind of. I mean, thing. I don't know, man. You're in space Vietnam, and they're talking <laughs> teddy bear right now. Like. You're fucked up. <laughs> Yeah, like that'd be freaky as shit. Yeah. All you hear is yup nub and you're getting fucking pierced. <laughs> I would like, like, like not to go back terrifying. to Return of the Jedi and complain about something there. Really think they should have set up something with how Ewoks actually were like strong. Like they showed that they had shut, scary Shut strength. your whole mouth. Shut your whole mouth. <laughs> Ewoks do not need to be explained. They did all the Ewoks explanation don't, themselves. Put that on a shirt. Ewoks don't need to be explained. Like you can I, see I, Ewoks I walking Ewok like, summer camp shirt, pressing fucking four hundred pounds. Yeah, you, you, you yeah. know, like those giant logs that like crush the the ATAT. Like it's just <laughs> or the ATAT. You just see a single one of them carrying that shit. Yeah, that would no, actually that's so long. cute. Just an Ewok with a fucking log on his shoulder, just walking through the woods. That's like a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, uh, uh, he walks past though. Luke's like yum nub, and then she walks here. Yeah, let me get a, a show for for Wicket. Just give me a yeah. full ten episode fucking, season. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, four. 
Please, I, God. I, I don't think we need another Ewok show, guys. Yeah, they already had like three movies of that, didn't they? We need a remake and, and a cartoon. Oh my God, right, I forgot that. That's what you're <laughs> so another you're uh, small thing on on costume design. I don't know if you guys saw this, but the uh, the corporation with their, the the guys in the blue suits. Yep. Uh, their all of their Under Armour is the exact same flight suit that uh, that Din Djarin is wearing. All the Mandalorians wear the exact same flight suit, and it's the same one that they're wearing. There's just wow. Are you saying that they are Mandalorians? Mandalorians? <laughs> <laughs> I just I like it when there's a, a little bit of I guess visual continuity between like like something as simple as a flight suit. It all it, opened it up. Now. That they're probably mass produced, like they are in real life. So it's kind of cool to see like oh they're wearing the same Under Armour that Mando's wearing, just theirs is blue. Maybe that's like, like they're a, wearing like a flak vest too. Like a, yeah, it's, general it's like kind of different. armored vest thing. Yep. Yeah. yeah. It's it's something that I love to see in Star Wars when there's a little bit of like uniformity between the way things look, and I think mm. this show has kind of nailed that. It's kind of refreshing to see. It's I think Star Wars is one of the Star Wars right now and, and House of the Dragons are two shows that are are nailing visual continuity right now. Oh, I would I would I feel like Star Wars like that's what they have to if they don't get that down then yeah it's like all fucked right. Mm-hmm. Like even at the even at the degree we're at, we already have people like me who are bitching about like I it feels like it's not Star Wars and like I get that like yeah it might be like not fully accurate but it, well it, I I nitpick a lot and like one of the one of the reasons that people hated the mods in Book of Boba so much aside from the fact that they're just awful uh is is their clothing it's not that it's not just that it's not dirty enough it's that their clothing doesn't look like it's Star Wars for example they have zippers no it one in Star Wars like has zippers fashion. that's what it boils right. down to. It looks like somebody you would just see at a bar somewhere on like. Well, a I don't know about night. a bar. It's more like a. In my opinion, it's the sort of people you see at a. I don't know, like a fucking Gucci fucking rum like catwalk type event, right? It's that sort of thing. Hey, thanks It'd for the follow fashion. AE Digital. Oh, well, thank you. But I, I agree with what you, you're saying, though. Like it, it did it. They just they stuck out like a sore thumb, and not even in like a blendable way. It was like. These group, these group people do not fit in here at all. Like there is right. no covering that up. It 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 makes the show seem like it's from a lower budget than it probably actually is, and I think it helps Andor seem like it's got a higher budget than it probably actually does when that visual continuity is something that they adhere to. Yeah, I think as well. Like I've liked that they've stuck a lot to the original oh, methods with the um. Like the practical effects well, side happens, of things. Uh, AJ. Well, we appreciate it anyway, e Digital. We we appreciate it. Oh, like I don't. For, I don't. Screw for you, Richard. Buddy. Yeah, get out of here. I'm not sure. That's fair, for man. Richard's awesome. Richard's a good egg. He's a good bean. Hey, He's a good bean egg. Enough about me. Let's talk more about me. Hey, that <laughs> means, guys. You know that means we're at one ten. Oh, oh, baby. One ten, baby. Maybe a one ten. Sorry, nailed it. Well, that was, that was you don't cool. have to talk um, about it. Yes, we do. This uh, we have God to egg. I don't. I don't mean to egg. sidestep uh, our lovely <laughs> conversation about Star Wars, but I did just have an interesting report come in that obviously the actor for Thaddeus uh, Ross is obviously, cool obviously passed death? away. Yeah, he died. He died. I was make that joke. He died a while ago. It's not a joke. Um, uh, F in chat for Coolio. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's Coolio. They, they've apparently. Um, they've apparently. <laughs> Put Harrison Ford as the suppose like a rumored replacement to play uh, Thaddeus uh, thingy. Harrison so, Ford, like, bro. I don't yeah. know. I don't what? think that guy wants to do any movies. Wait, wait. What for? What for? <laughs> Thaddeus? Who? Who the fuck? Thaddeus Who's... Ross, General Thaddeus Ross. Oh, for fucking. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. I don't know. If I don't the... know if I like that. I, I, it's not that I don't uh, like Harrison Ford. It's that I, I love Harrison know. Ford. It's just I don't think Harrison Ford likes anyone. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't think I want to see Harrison him in that Ford. role. I don't think I care enough. I love you, Harrison, but... Well, he's pretty God, happy I... to be back as Indiana Jones, but, like, literally, what that's the only that role... bullshit, dude? That, uh, apparently, that's the only <laughs> role he's ever liked, because, like, I think... Yeah. Well, <laughs> I think end, everything uh, else is... He just like hates... Playing Deckard Speaking well. of uh, Indiana Jones, in uh, the... In... What the fuck would you call that? In the antiquity shop kind of thing? In the back room, you can see Indiana whip. Jones' whip uh, is in yeah, Carbonite. Really? Yep. Wow, yeah. a carbonite. A carbonite. <laughs> like, Just like the Raiders of the Lost Ark, if you look at the Ark, and in hieroglyphics in the background, you can see C-3PO and R2-D2. Yeah. I love these little connections. These are cute. 
you can actually see a uh, an outline of R two D two shape on the Star Trek Enterprise as well. Yeah, yeah. It's the Enterprise's boner. <laughs> what the hell, man? What, what do you mean? What the hell? What do you uh, mean? Okay. What do we? What I, do, I do have. Do here? I do have one complaint about this show, and I want to hear what you guys think about it. Okay. Uh, All right. So when they go, when 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 the lady uh, goes to pick up uh, Cassian, when he's still on the the ship planet he was on, and he's in that ship, she makes a remark on how if the Republic finds him, that they're going to kill him. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think yeah, I. Like what yeah, the fuck is made, that about? I made that comment as well when I was talking to Sam. There have been like, debates wait, what about what mean? is actually happening in that scene in the first place. Like from when I've watched it, I all I got from it was that like that was a separatist ship that went down from a Republic encounter, and like what I get, what they're saying is that the the Republic isn't going to be great either. Like the Republic is going to come here and fuck it, the situation up, maybe not kill him. I get that she said that, but. Yeah, like, yeah, they've never shown the Republic like murdering children, though. But they'd bring them into the fold and maybe. Except for that like... one time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was, was going to that joke. <laughs> but like, I, I don't know. Like they, I actually that's a good point because I thought they were going to keep up with the flashbacks in a semi or, or semi kind of way. But I guess we're. I hope done. not. I hope not too, because I kind of like I was. While I appreciated the scenes because it was cool to have like no subtitles and no like context really and just get things from visual cues i didn't really care again like i just had no well i i think care. that's my thing with like most flashbacks is sometimes i just don't give a shit like sometimes we did we need it really like that's the thing guys we could have cut out the flashbacks i and, do agree with that the and flashbacks were completely the unnecessary. episode right like well, we could have done that he doesn't look like he's six years old so his throwaway comment of him being in the fight since six years old is irrelevant. Uh, I, okay. I'm writing a heated email to Lucasfilm. Now, <laughs> you know what he said, I'm though, what series. I'll say is that maybe, because, like, I, I feel like we need more information about that place, because, like, they left a bunch of things fucking, like, unanswered, apparently, like that. Ah, actually... come on, we're four episodes in, out of 12, yeah, out of we're... two seasons. That's just yeah. realistic. We're going back. I think, I think they're well, apparently a the lot second season that. is going to be a totally different show than this one is. Like, Richard, yeah, you're going to hate, gonna gonna be hate season two, apparently. I season definitely two am. Gonna they're going to gonna tie it in. Yep, yep, they're going to tie it in with all the bigger stuff, and I'm going to hate it. Uh, but this uh, stuff, I, like, I am I so glad that you guys mentioned the subtitles, uh, that there weren't subtitles, though, because I thought that I had fucked something up when I was watching it. Me yeah, too. me I'm too. like, what are they saying? <laughs> but but eventually I, I, I was like just like, all right, I guess it's just context clues. Like, I guess we're but just no, I, I kind of like that, because yeah. normally it's, it's just laid out in front of us, whereas this time it's like, these people, it's meant to be that they're that remote that we don't even have some well, and, and the implication them. being kind of that like all of these kids like their parents died in like a, a mining accident or something and that like fuck what was shit i had a thing i was going shit now they're part of some tribe yeah like they, they, you know it reminds me of peter has, pan like, the, the neverland like the yeah. lost oh yeah, pretty yeah. Much, yeah they say that that planet has like a, a, a poisonous atmosphere uh, and then you yeah, see they're the all soldiers masks, can't, they? yeah, and their their skin turns all yellowish green when that they was breathe it in. Because oh. like they when they went down though, like a gas was like coming out of the ship, wasn't it? Like that's what I thought. Uh, yeah, like, I think it might be the ship. And no, they actually maybe... say when well, when but... they're talking about the planet that yeah. it's got a poisonous atmosphere. But I think that that might that's happen a... still. Like I think that that is still a thing that will in the future of that planet. Like the, maybe they continue the mining that they were doing and then like unleash some gas or some shit. Like that's it. it makes me wonder if the, like does that mean that like. Cassian has some sort of immunity to that, or like, oh. like how how are they okay? Like how are all those kids breathing in whatever's that on that planet, but nobody thing, else like, can? Canaries like didn't like, weren't affected by that. Yeah, cool. they have like, like, uh, like they have a plus five resistance to poison. <laughs> yeah, I was but, gonna say because like because like, like, it's not like, like is it just natural? Yeah, like the atmosphere of that planet is just like that. At all times. Oh, and Dan, uh, think... with what you were saying, sorry, I don't not to go back, but I I will forget about this again for sure. With the the line that he th to, says, where he's like, "I've been in this fight since I was six years old." Maybe we're gonna learn that he is implying that like his his family was one of those miners, and when he was like six, they all oh, died. You know what I mean? Possibly. Like, possibly that, that's yeah. what I'm thinking. We may go back and see, but I just don't see how. It feels like, yeah, it feels like when Book of Boba Fett was like, "We have flashbacks." And then they just didn't do the flashbacks for like the rest of the season. I was like, oh, okay. Like, I guess that, that flow of the show is gone, but okay. And I feel like there were still things to explain in that three years, but okay. Boba just walked the desert, apparently. Don't worry, they've got a new season for that. Do they? I don't know. 
<laughs> Sam, yeah, am I go- if anyone has Star Wars news, is it going to be me? You're right. You're right. Fair. I'm sorry. I thought, you, I thought you might have seen something. I'm sorry. I liked how they, uh, I can't, I can't remember the guy's name, the old guy. I appreciate how they did like me. a lightsaber fake out in reverse with him, where how like his cane goes in to the, the hilt. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, okay, what are they doing here? What's up with him? I like how, like, yeah, I, I will say Luthen's character, like being like this is really do- like a double agent, essentially. Like, on like playing, playing the museum, like the museum mm-hmm. career, and then like he's like doing like this Rebel Alliance shit. And then like, well, it's not a play agent because like he's still like actively working. But see, so, yeah, no, 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 see Papa Palpatine. No, I don't want to see. No, him they're gonna more. pop a palpa pill. <laughs> I, I think we'll see Mando Papa season two. Oh, we're definitely gonna see Palpatine in the show. Like they're they're gonna I go into so. the Senate at one point, and then like he's gonna have to be like, yeah, mm-hmm. we're gonna be fucking making a bunch of rules and shit. <laughs> you know, like that'll be what he's a nice Vince McMahon impression. That was nice. That was brilliant. <laughs> That's what he sounds like. Yeah, it's it's like, yeah. yeah, that's what Vincent Grant no, sounds it, like. No way. That's what he exactly sounds like. like that. Yeah, you're that was really good. Me. Um, Sam, I can't, like, because the way you're both talking right now is is unsettling me because I know you're both. Like, like, all right, so you know how like I am with Star Wars. I'm the complete reverse with wrestling. You know this. Yeah, I made you watch the Montreal Screwjob documentary. Yeah, you I like was wrestling? so I was so uh, fucking out the, of it for that entire thing. The is the lore of it just intrigues me. I, I I'm re- the history of it. I'm unsettled by how much you sound like him. It's crazy. Yeah, that was good. I don't know what he sounds like. I'm just making this shit no, up. Thanks, you know? Richard. Oh, Sorry. I Sorry, do. Man. Don't worry. I got you, Kaz. Yeah. So I wait, did I that. actually? Because I don't want to. Yeah. No, yeah, Sam. That's yeah. what he sounds like. Goddamn, fucking Vincent Man sounds like Palpatine. Jesus. <laughs> that's unsettling. Doesn't he say the guy like that goes, the let's get ready to rumble? Isn't that no, no. the guy? No, no, no that's, um, that's just some guy. That's just I some guy. That is. Yeah, that's just one of the announcers. I thought like that this. was fucking Vince McMahon this whole time of my life. God damn. No, no, Vince went, welcome to WrestleMania. And then it does the WrestleMania thing. It's uh, Michael, Michael Buffer. Michael Buffer? I've yeah. never heard he's, that he's name. He's not just some guy. He's the guy. on Michael Buffer's name, dude. He's the guy. Yeah, man. How much does the guy get paid who says, let's get ready to rumble? <laughs> it's uh, the no, same amount Elijah Wood got paid to play the guy. It says he makes between $25,000 and $100,000 per fight. I, I feel like I've been negative on the show, though. I want to say that <laughs> I love the set designs in general. Like, it's, it's a lot of effort going into it. The, the costuming, like you're saying, Richard, all looks amazing. The music, also a fucking 10. I don't think we actually looked into who... We did, we did, oh, we, did. Like, we did, it was like, we did just like when, like, we got to episode two. Like, that's what I'm saying, like, the production for this show, I'm really digging. Yeah, like, the music I just don't is, care is for, like, me. Oh, there's just a lot of it that I just don't personally give a shit about. Also, I have $30 riding on if that character dies uh, next week. The, uh... Oh, oh yeah. Fuck, oh, like, the little, the little, the, 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 the pedophile kid. from Black, uh... The, don't say that. No, but like he he plays a what? pedophile in black in what's it called? In black Mirror. Black Mirror. Does. Jesus Christ! <laughs> what are you okay, talking so, about? So the the people who are gonna go raid the the the, the armory or whatever, like the sh- the kid who the young one, the, the hopeful one. Yeah, he's gonna die. Like that is written on the wall. I think that one um like imperial deserter guy. I, I guess not really a deserter, but like he was like they said he was like a lieutenant. Yeah, he's what I get from that is that he's like just the guy that like is there and he's like, I feel bad for the locals and I gotta help. So I like that guy. He's gonna die. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they're probably <laughs> all gonna die, if I'm being honest. Like I have a bad feeling about this next episode. But like uh, a good, but a good I see one, what he did there. Oh, I he said it. I didn't even mean to. I'm not gonna lie. Holy shit. <laughs> Don't lie. Get I'm out about this. <laughs> didn't even mean to. Holy get out. Uh th- but this next episode I'm excited for because yeah, like I feel like the heist will just visually be awesome. Like and especially with what they were you, setting buddy. up. Oh my god, I forgot to even say this. The, the night of what do they call it? Sh- something of showers or whatever. Oh like, yeah, yeah. Like it was like uh, it was like just the stars. Like the sky will be chaos. Like, the, that, yeah, that line like, was that will be cool. Like I visually cannot wait to see that. So that is that is already light of a thousand demons. <laughs> like yeah, but again, I, I, I literally it's... thought that it was building to that happening for the end of the episode, and then it was like campfire. Oh, it cut to black. What the hell? No, exactly, I'm glad it didn't. Because if it, if that was like. It would have been too short for me. I, I, th- oh, I feel like that could have been sure, really cool. Could have been a semi-long like, episode. Like, like, you know, the, like the Battle of Blackwater. Or, or Sam, they could have split into two episodes. Just so <laughs> it's so much. Where's the baby, guys? 
Baby is just chilling with Simeon in uh, Nilbog's hub. Uh, oh, shit. Simeon dropped him. Oh, shit. No! He's got brain damage now. I'm a, I swear, if he had brain damage when I get back. I can oh, see Joshua. He's like, there. There. Fellas, um, <laughs> I, again, another slight side note, but uh, did we all see the wonderful news that uh, two, of our, oh, no. two of our favorite, two of our favorite characters are finally going to be uh, united on screen together? Oh I, yeah, Deadpool and Wolverine. I saw yeah. your, I saw your thing about it, and I'm like, oh, you're going to probably yeah. hate our stances on that. <laughs> you hate yeah, it. I don't. I don't, we know. All, I, I, don't I, I don't know how to feel about it. I am excited I'm in like, I, okay I, I, just it. in a way that I'm like, okay. Okay, and again, this is the nerd in me, right? Where it's like, if it's not this, it will be kind of shitty. But, like... No, it will be. You he know better just be. show up and from their universe, and then at the end of it, Deadpool will be like, yo, I think I'm going to stay in the MCU. I think this is fun. And Wolverine will be like, okay, bye. Like, that, that's what I want. Uh, I'm kind of... There's a part of me that's excited, but I also don't want to see... I am uh, like, Deadpool in the MCU. I want to so bad. I, I want to see him in the MCU, but I'm like caught in the middle where I'm like, I don't know. If, like, I'm not excited, but I'm also not like hating it. I'm just, I trust, I, I'm I just not really Disney. feeling anything for it. Yeah, I, I just, don't, I don't trust Disney with the character, and I, I kind of dislike that after Logan, we're gonna pull Hugh Jackman back in, and it's yeah, like because that's, that's my big thing. thing. That's my big. The thing way they too. did it, like, it feels like they just like forced him to do it. All. <laughs> Want to no, do another uh, Wolverine? Or no, he's known Wolverine? since he did Logan that this was going to happen. He's done a Ewan McGregor and just kept it high. Well, well, uh, I guess even Hugh Jackman said if Disney if Disney bought like Marvel, like or, or like uh, like had the rights to X Men, he would consider playing him again. Yeah. But like if this is like man, actually because like, like, like I, I I swear to God they, this is like the fourth or fifth time where it's like this is the last time you'll be playing Logan. This is the Walking Dead season, last season all over again, where it's like, it's never going to fucking end. He's going to keep playing Wolverine and say it's the end. I'm yeah, sick. I, no, I, just, I, I find myself did, incredibly he, apathetic about it. I just, I just don't did, care at he all. He did say when he retired that, like, AJ just said, like, if if the right the right movie was to be made, then he would. Is but, this the right the movie? Like... That's the thing, right? Logan. Oh yes, for this one, I think it might be the right movie for like him and Deadpool. He's had that that whole situation but in to the be comics. like the last, you know what I mean? For the being the last one, Logan was such a good. Well, because outro. they're still keeping the, they they because like people have like read the lips of like the little teaser that they did where they where they did like where they bleeped everything out. Yeah. Uh, and people read the lips and like they're 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 not. Or no, I don't even think. It, I think it was before they cut it out. They're they're still keeping the fucking Logan thing. I I'm, not, I'm, not, Logan. I'm not saying that it's not take. I'm just saying that as a vi like a cinematic thing for us as like viewers, I think it's way better for Hugh Jackman's last thing to be that movie than yeah. him showing up in a comedic wolf. Or, or yeah, a comedic. Death no, that's thing. That, that's like that's exactly the same issue I have with it. Where I'm like, I think they should just let the the dead Logan lie. You know, let like, sleeping Wolverines lie, man. Jesus. <laughs> I hope he's in in a Deadpool movie and he has his mouth sewn shut and his claws Yo. can't come out. Oh my god, <laughs> Richard, that's fucking brilliant. That would be so good. That poetic. Oh my god, we should fucking run there right now. We got to run down to L.A. and we got to tell them this shit because if they are Mr. right, Mr. Deadpool, ready, Mr. Deadpool, <laughs> we have the script. Oh, we have it ready. <laughs> I was only here a month ago. Why didn't you say, guys? I would have fucking dropped it off for you. Shit, Dan, what the hell, dude? <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, we didn't even. This wasn't even announced a month ago. <laughs> no, I know this is true. No, I saw we gotta it. Go back I, in I, time. I already... Big side. Dan, you're I'm not going to understand this, but we need you to, like uh, us back in time. We need you to drop this off at this place it's right like now. The fucking Batman v Superman scene where Flash is like appearing in Bruce's dream. Yeah. I'm just gonna be sad like this, going. What the fuck did I just did I it's just great dream? That, Dan, that Dan, this is gonna go sound nowhere. very confusing, but drop off the Deadpool three script right now. <laughs> <laughs> go to Warner Brothers right now. You need to give this to them. It's like, but they don't do it. Just do it. Find Ryan Reynolds. Find Ryan Reynolds. Find Ryan. Reynolds. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> You're flying to Canada. Deal with it. Okay. <laughs> He lives in Vancouver, I think. I think he does. Uh, yeah. he, well, he's from Vancouver. I don't think he lives here right really? now. Oh, I, think right now. I think he lives in LA. Uh, uh, does anyone else have anything else they want to say about Andor? Uh, it's a good fucking show. It's I am enjoy I'm enjoying it personally. I'm with Richard on this and with AJ on this. I, I, I like I'm it. enjoying it. I'm I'm enjoying it. Would I say it's as good as Mando? 
not yet. We don't know. It's still yeah, Beverly Hills out, yeah. and Vancouver. I think it's, it's pretty it's good. I'm, I'm liking it. <laughs> I'm liking where it's going. I, it's a refreshing take on Star Wars to me. Uh, and it's it's I'm honestly I'm just happy that I can watch something that is better than Rings of Power and She Hulk, which right okay. now are, are filling my soul <laughs> oh, man. with such vitriol that I can barely move. That's tonight, not folks. I can't wait. Power. I can't wait. Uh, I've not watched I've not watched Rings of Power. I've not watched Lord of the Rings, to be fair. So I'm not really what? in a position so, to watch this. No, you should watch it and I want to know what you think. Oh, with no context. Yeah, watch Lord of the, uh, watch be, the Kaz, Power, yeah. be the Kaz of this of that stream. Right, because... I'll, do, I'll do it. I, I will sit and try and binge uh, Rings of Power as much as humanly possible. And then give us your opinion, please. We need a, we need a, a solid, no, no books, no movies, unbiased opinion. Richard okay. told me something about the Numenorians that I actually am now like, oh man, that is kind of a bummer. Like I will say. Well, seven feet tall, huge boys. Yeah, man. Sorry. I'm like, Sorry. God damn, we missed out on that. That would be cool. Oh, wait, wait, say that again. What, what were they? Numenorians seven are like, feet tall, like big boys. seven feet tall. Well, the, the uh, Numenorians are also apparently like turn evil. So, so the Numenorians in all the, the in all the books are described as as being on average seven feet tall. They are basically the perfect combination of elf and man, and they are a an entire race of warriors. So to see five foot two for some reason, well, Adriel training them is the most gross thing I've seen so far. Well, also, uh, fucking Harfoots are all supposed to be black, and there's some white ones in there. So who fucking gives a shit? Well, that's anymore? like the that's like the that's a more specific <laughs> aspect. But I think if you were going to do back. like Numenorians, like because like they showed, they're I don't know if it's doing the forced perspective thing with the Harfoots and the strangers still like or if it's just uh, a yeah, really I think they I think so. Tall guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I feel like they could have done something. For the well, I think giving like making the Numenorians like super tall for everyone and just having like Gladiol look really short. I don't know. It, it just I don't think it would have worked visually. Uh, but anything else that you guys want to say about Andor? No. As, as I look for it, someone show. to raid into, actually, Kaz said he wanted me to. Raid to uh, uh, Kaz, start your stream. Kaz, 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 start your oh, stream, start your stream. Do you want us to oh. raid into you? You're going. All right, all right. Sorry, right, if right. you can stream, Kaz. God, God damn it. But you won. But you uh, won. Uh, I am excited for ne the next week's episode because I do think that the, the heist will be awesome. Like, with what we've seen in the show, I I think that uh, when we actually get down to a, a thing like that, it'll be cool. And more from... I don't remember her name in the show, but the, the security bureau check. Like, the acting alone from her, the comedian that Kaz told me about, that, I, that shocked oh, the boy, hell out of friend. me. That that guy was a comedian. I I was like that guy's like a comedian, straight anything. up just straight actor, and I love it. But that guy, yeah, he transitioned into an actor. God damn, he's Wait. good at acting. Yeah, no, he's good. Though. I like him. Also, the show the show has got highlight Game of Thrones characters in it for me. Where we got guy from the Vale as the security guy, and I oh, love yeah. his voice in everything he's in. Uh, fuck. And then who else was it? The Waif was in the fourth episode. Yeah. Oh, there yeah, was. that's who she was. Oh, yeah, I know. Fuck. I kept thinking, like, who the fuck is this bitch? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting there, like, I know Andor's... this girl. <laughs> and then, uh, it's kind of unsurprisingly, given the actors on the show, is filmed in the UK, which kind of shocked me initially. Oh, I yeah. Like, like, I, I heard yeah, like, that I... was a big thing going into the show where they were like, we're not really using the volume that much. We're going to be on, on set. Or not on set, I'm but just... on location. I'm just happy it's not here in Atlanta again. Made in Georgia, made in the UK. Oh, God, leave me alone. Get out of here. We're full. If I say peaches to you, does that mean anything? Me? Oh, it's no. Okay. Well, I mean, you got all your Star Wars and Disney stuff filming in Atlanta. We got like a bunch of shitty TV shows filming. Like <laughs> You also have a lot of Indian. Rude. I don't know if that's There true. is a lot of Indian movies up. Bollywood movies are filmed in like Vancouver. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah. We what? got a lot of stuff. Like they'll man. say it's New York and I think it's in Vancouver. Most of them. We got, we got that a lot, lot dude. That, that is like the go to. They'd be like, oh, we're in New York. That's downtown Vancouver, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot of Hollywood, though. When that you walk in. I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> when they close that down. Through. Maybe. Oh, man. They had a rancor on the fucking wall. Oh. It was cool. I can imagine my life. I can imagine. Are you streaming yet, Kaz? You are. Yeah, I started start streaming, yeah. Let's raid into you. You're, you're a beautiful being. You're a star. You're a beautiful, like. 
Oh, yeah. I, I was like, oh, no, the, the website's still here. Strong Troll Ca- Tavern. Permanently closed. Oh, oh damn oh. it. Bring it back. Actually, it had a cool thing, I think. Was that the, the bar Rewind. where you would, you would roll a d20 and they'd make a, like, a random drink for you? No, there was a burger one. Though. Like, I think it oh, yeah. dangerous. Oh, I think shit. it was also a drink. I think it was also with drinks, wasn't it? A burger, yeah. a burger. I feel would be almost as dangerous. Like, because like, because like, with the well, with the burger one, you could literally just get like a bread burger. Like, fuck that, <laughs> man! Like, goddamn. <laughs> At least with That's a drink, a it's like there's liquids in here. That's just bread. It's just more bread. What was like the payment structure for that? Was that like a, a depending on what you got situation, or like a you roll and you already paid for what you what you're gonna roll? No one. Yes. Sorry, it's a good I'm question, though, right? It's a good I'm question. Reading this, reading yeah. this sad story of how, why it's closing down. Well, it's because of COVID, obviously, but... That'd be a pretty funny thing, right? You only pay, like, a dollar, and you might get, like, a $20 worth burger out of it. Like, that'd be pretty fun. Yeah. There was actually a really sad story I heard from um, uh, or- Orakami a while back on her stream, because we were talking about, like, uh, COVID and, like, the racism and stuff. And, like, there's, there was, like, this one, like, Chinese um, restaurant that, like, would have this party. Uh, to celebrate like the uh, Lunar New Year, but then as COVID hit, wait, like, join, there was a lot of, join like, us tomorrow for Royal at six PM, and then uh, yeah. on Saturday we got Shield discussion. Bye, everybody. Yes. Bye, bye, my clunky. My clunky. My clunky. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, your, your story is taking a while. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, no, it's a long story. Um, well, it's not that long, but like, it's like they, and then they had to like base the Lunar New Year hit, and like. A month after, um, they just got no business because like there was like a bunch of like the racism and stuff, and so the place just had like that was like.